Hey there YouTube, um, today I wanted to show you a quick fix, well not a quick fix, but a fix to um, many, uh, these are LCD monitors, um, uh, many LCD monitors across the range. This happens to be a Samsung, uh, if I can get that over here, Syncmaster N40MG, this is the 19 inch version, I have the 17 inch, uh, 17 inch version up there. And um, this had a uh, starting issue where you would plug it in, turn it on, and it would turn instantly straight off again. So what you would have to do is hold the power button down for about 10 minutes or so, and then it eventually turn on. This is a um, basically a LCD um, monitor slash TV, so it has all sorts of inputs. Um, what you want to do is strip it all down. So you get all your backing panels off, and um, I mean, as you can see, it has all the channel inputs, it has SCARTs, it has um, D-Sub and Divi ports here. Um, what you want to do is take out the board that's over here, and that is your uh, power board. Power board. This um, power, uh, powers everything from your backlights to all your uh, control units over here. This is what gives, pardon me, this is what gives you your problem. Um, I don't know if you can see over here. These are called capacitors over here. These store and discharge um, elect uh, electricity. And uh, what you want to do is go over all the capacitors on the board. These are all fine. You can see on the the profile, the top profiles of them are fine, and uh, they're not bulging or leaking. What I found, uh, if I know where I put them, is I found two capacitors where the tops are bulging. Don't know if I can. Get that focused in enough for you. I uh, guess not. <laughs> there you go. But the tops are bulging slightly. You can see on this one, it's actually starting to leak some fluid on the top. Got another one over here as well. Where it's just started to bulge at the top. You see, they're not meant to be like that. that these, are, these are blown capacitors. As you can see on the sides, um, uh, where are we? 10 volt, uh, 1000 microfarads, UF, yeah, so what you want to do is um, go out and get yourself a pack of uh, capacitors, um, I would highly recommend getting a higher voltage, because I mean on the caps is they're basically their maximum charging capacity, so I mean I've got, uh, I can't remember what these were, these, always keep the UF rating, microfarad rating the same, so these are 1000 microfarads, and these are 25 volt. The ones that came out were 10 volt, and I'm replacing with 25. So that's absolutely fine. It's just a higher maximum charging capacity. So what you want to do to get the out of the board is uh, use a soldering iron, heat up a pad. These are called pads. Heat them up, and what you want to do is get a solder sucker. These things. Heat up the pad, and then suck the solder off. And then they then it's gone off the board. Then just wiggle the component a bit and it'll come out and it'll leave you a nice clean hole. The two capacitors I've taken out were down here. There's two clean holes down there. So what you want to do is just solder in new components. This is very simple. I mean, all the only tools you need is um, a soldering iron, some solder, a solder sucker, and some new capacitors. That's all you need. And this will save you spending about 100, 125 on a brand new monitor. It's definitely worth it. I mean, if you're going to throw it out, I definitely recommend taking the monitor apart, having a look at the parts. If it's not fixable, we'll throw it away. If it is, definitely, I would definitely recommend trying to fix it because there's nothing worse than spending money on stuff you don't need. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that, hope this uh, helps anyone. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm Cordy on today. See you guys later.